At the end of this video, you will know everything about the gear in JAWS Pinball. JAWS Pinball had a recent code update that implemented gear into the gameplay, which serves as a way to provide strategic advantages for players. In the game, there are six different types of gear with the corresponding inserts featured in the middle of the play field. There are a few different ways you can qualify the gear. You can make a level two or level three skill shot, achieve an encounter bonus at the boat captive ball, complete a quick shot, or receive a gear award from completing Pippet twice. It's important to note that the gear can be qualified multiple times in a row before collecting any of the gear. However, you can only collect one piece of gear at a time. The easiest way to light gear is to complete a quick shot, though that does come with its own risk. You'll be forced to use the mini flipper to start your quick shot and then hit the fin target on the fly to complete this quick shot. The levels of the skill shots are displayed on the LCD screen and you must complete the level one skill shot to advance to the level two skill shot on your next ball. You can achieve the encounter bonus by hitting the boat captive ball multiple times to eventually score an encounter bonus. Pippet requires five beachgoers to light the corresponding insert by the left stand-up targets. Completing the lit targets will then light a single random shot for a Pippet award. Gear will be qualified after two Pippet awards. Once gear is qualified, its corresponding insert will then be lit on the playfield and the collect gear section on the billboard above the right ramp will light up. The gear selected will cycle with each use of the right flipper during gameplay. This forces the player to pay attention to what insert is lit before collecting their gear. To collect gear, a player will hit the right ramp. The LCD will indicate that the gear has been collected and the corresponding insert will remain lit solid. Collected gear will carry over ball to ball. That being said, there is a special nuance to gear collection that we will talk about a little bit later in this video. What does the gear do exactly? As mentioned before, the gear will give advantages to players in certain situations. Barrel Hook extends Jaws multi ball by auto plunging another ball into play once you've drained down to your final ball. This will keep your multi ball going as a two ball multi ball. Shark Cage will provide ball safe protection to your next fin target shot. The dart speeds up progress in your next bounty hunt that you begin. It also increases your bounty hunt final score by adding a plus one X multiplier to the bounty award. Binoculars involve hitting stand-up targets to light two beachgoers instead of one, making it much easier to progress in closing beaches to rescue multiball. This bonus applies only for the next three hits. Oxygen increases all timer durations for the rest of the ball. This gives you more time to complete modes, features, and boost ball save timers. Tracker will double the speed of filling your chum line, which makes it easier to qualify your next Jaws multiball. Think of gear as passive abilities. If the game state requires the ability to be used, the gear will automatically activate. That special nuance mentioned earlier, there's a feature to gear called Gear Cash Out. This feature allows you to sell all your gear in exchange for points. And once you've collected all six gear types, you will then be able to light gear one more time. Hitting the right ramp will then have Quint make an offer for your gear. From here, you decide if you're going to accept or decline the deal. If you accept the deal, then you get points for each piece of unused or non-activated gear. Opting to keep the gear, you will then just retain the perks and be given a smaller value of points. The points for selling gear can be significant as the base value for each piece of gear is 15 million. This value will be multiplied based on the amount of gear you're selling. Congrats, now you understand how the gear works. Good luck and go play some pinball. Mm-hmm.